I have been bad about making things and not sharing them. So it's about time I get back to sharing some things. We are doing earthquakes in eighth grade science. So wanted to do earthquake resistant structures. So we're gonna try and build them. So I made some shake tables. I got some 20 inch P uh, PVC. Yeah. I bought some PVC, three quarter inch, cut it to 20 inch sections. Got some elbows. I bought some eye bolts. They are 3 16 of an inch, two inch long. I cut some 12 by 12 plywood. Actually, this is uh, not plywood, but um, MDF. And what else? I got rubber bands. So I assembled this. It assembles pretty easily. I like it because it can also come apart. Um, I thought about using wood and you know screwing wood together instead of PVC, but that would be heavier. Uh, this is light and it comes apart. And the other thing I like is I originally had the eyelets facing towards the inside and with the rubber bands or with even springs, I needed them to be a little bit longer. So that's one advantage. Two, if I tilt them up, I don't need the S hooks that I also bought. Uh, because of being 12 inch, these two holes drilled through the PVC are about six inches apart. And then I made these a little bit wider than six inches to try and get a little bit more of an angle to it. I like when I twist these up that they actually kind of stand up off the ground a little bit because I uh, need to keep, keep things up in the air. I put basically a marble, um, set of marbles underneath. So this is off the, off the ground, off the tabletop because there's, the rubber bands go underneath and so they would drag. So a couple of changes I might make. One, I'd like to know what, what how springs work with this better because um, you know, rubber bands only work on pulling where springs work on pushing and pulling. Um, the other thing I think I would try would be a quarter inch piece of wood. I'm just wondering if they would, uh, if it would vibrate longer because of the less mass of the plate. What else is there? So the S hooks were when it was more tilted, when the, when the eyelets were tilted in. Now that the eyelets are tilted up, I don't need the S hooks. And it's it works pretty decent. But yeah, you got to have the marble, the marble. Uh, I can't think of what that's called. Bearing, kind of like a marble bearing. Um, underneath it so it doesn't drag on the table. So there is my are my shake tables. Make yourself I think cost me $25 total. Really the, the most expensive thing are the are the are the uh, the I the uh, eye bolts at like 50 60 cents a piece because I needed 16 of them. I mean, the PVC is like $3 for a 10-foot piece. I needed two of those. And then, because um, I was making two, and then the eye bolts, and then some Essex. And then, what? oh, the, the, the uh, elbows, I think like three fifty for a pack of 10. So, there you go. Shake tables. Beginning completed.